I can use some help setting things up. Larry? Hey man, the offer's still on the table. <laughs> Look, I can't get ready with you blocking the door. Jamal, wake up! This clown picks up his head, wipes the slobber off the side of his mouth, makes the, the cross sign with his hand, no. and says, Amen. No, Looks no, over no, at no, me. No, no. See what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up, Sarge? <laughs> Almost lost my mind. I said, much. Are you serious? He says, Yeah. I, I, I love me some Jesus. Oh, <laughs> <you're a> <laughs> I couldn't do nothing but laugh. Right, right. <laughs> That's too funny. That is. That's when I knew him and Knuckle Nuts here would be a big star. <laughs> knuckle Nuts. Oh, oh look at you doing Knuckle Nuts. I'm drunk. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ian. Hey, what's up, you guys? So long. I am already on my third drink. Okay. What else is new? <laughs> Jamal, 
Jamal Mary. Nice to meet you, Jamal. Uh, Ian, can I speak with you in the room for a moment? Yeah. Okay, I'm a little uncomfortable with this. Why? Because the last time I checked, this was your apartment. And the last I checked, he was still my best friend. Oh, you sure about that? Well, he's here, isn't he? If he was really your best friend, you would know the answer to that question now, wouldn't you? Enough of this friends are friends talk. Look, I want my DVD back. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I just got started yesterday. Well, you only had it for about three months. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hey, I'm lost. So which DVD are we speaking of again? The Bayard Russian speech. Oh. So, you know about Bayard? Oh, what do you told me? What do you think? specific thoughts. He seemed like he was a cool guy. I guess the real question is that what are your thoughts on gay rights versus civil rights? Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, that's a little deep for his first question, don't you think? Yeah. Yes, Seth. I do agree. I don't believe the two should be mentioned in the same sentence. And why is that? Truly. Let the man have his No. Let him answer. Alright. Being black is not a choice you will make as opposed to being homosexual. Alright? I mean, come on, huh? <laughs> Let's be real. I cannot hide my ethnicity at all. Now, a gay or lesbian person, if by choice, or if they have to, they can always hide their sexual preference from society. Mm. Possibly bypassing whatever bullshit y'all have to go through. Here we go. No, 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 wait, Julie, wait. So you think my leaving home was by choice? <sighs> what does that have to do with the discussion at hand? Everything. Look, as far as I'm concerned, a better job in sunny California is not an opportunity one would pass up, right? So you think that was the only reason I left behind everything I know? I didn't find nothing out until later. Yeah. Well, I had my reasons for not saying so. <laughs> Look, that does not change the fact that there's still no correlation between the two. Let's just be real. Gay people ain't never had to sit at the back of a bus. Gay people ain't never had no dog sicked on them. And they damn sure ain't never had to drink from a certain water fountain. Yeah, and when was the last time that happened to you? My point exactly. Let me tell you who Bayard Rustin was, okay? He was a civil rights advocate. He fought for civil rights. He fought for socialism. He fought for pacifism. Mm -hmm. He even helped organize the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. That's still in existence today. Mm -hmm. If it hadn't been for him, Dr. King might not have ever made that I Have a Dream speech. Mm -hmm. So the next time you start thinking and talking what you think you know, mm -hmm. you better find out. Because he was an advocate for gay, for lesbian rights, okay? Yes, right. How's that for a tutorial, my brother? <laughs> hey, <laughs> crazy job. <laughs> All right. Look, um, I'm gonna go on the balcony and get some fresh air if y'all don't mind. You go ahead and do that. You don't mind? Yeah. Uh, Ian, it was nice while it lasted, sweetie, but uh, I think that's our cue. Yeah, that's our cue. It's that's been real. Right.
Look, man. I'm sorry. You know what, Ian? I'm sorry, too. But you said that you'd be okay with this. Ian, how the hell you thought I was going to Like my best friend? I was so much of a best friend, why was I the last person to find out? Why I found her almost a year after you left? Well, what difference does that make? It makes a lot of difference. Why? Because the only difference I see is that it would have postponed the cutoff. Man, what cutoff? Come on, man, stop acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. The only thing I know is that you got me up here in an apartment full of Go ahead, Jamal. Say it. If that's how you really feel, say it. See that right there is why I waited so long to tell you. Oh man, I didn't want to lose the last person in my life. Already lost my family. And I didn't want to lose my best friend. As soon as I came out to you, man, you did what everyone else did and what I hoped that you wouldn't do. But I guess some things are worth losing. Dang. Well, why are you here, Jamal?